Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming with yours truly I Octane. So today we look at our possible deck combination and as you can see before you have um, already got my main deck up. So this is the deck that I was using in the last Light Slayer event which has got two ultra rare, one master collection card and two ultimate form. So it's got the enlightened enlightened yokai and it's got the relentless scholar this deck is quite quick it's still very powerful even though it's not in its event and what I always say to you guys is try to get decks that are valuable even after the event so as you can see the relentless scholar deck and the yokai deck are still valuable quite valuable after the event they're quite good quite quick quite powerful so it's a very good deck uh the current deck as i said it's it will be powerful because it's it's in its own event but after this event you won't find a lot of uses for most of the cards within the deck this is one possible combo that i came up with it uses the current um support card which i got five copies of the support card which is quite great not uh swine lord junfa uh hellboy bprd agent i'm using the main card from the yokai deck and i'm using the main card from the relentless scholar deck so this one will give you nuke damage it will not be as powerful as the um, master collection card obviously and the ultimate form because it's a lower version of both those cards but it will give you a small bang for your buck so this deck doesn't produce a lot of gems or power gems but it is affordable and it is obtainable if you've got these cards in your collection so let's have a look at my slayer collection and let's see some of the cards that I've actually got in my Slayer collection. So obviously I've got the Relentless Scholar decks, um, Relentless Scholar cards, I've got the Yokai cards, I've got the Assault on um, Yojo. This was a support card from a previous um, Light Slayer event. I've got the um, Apocalypse Hellboy, which I must say isn't really a good deck. It's okay. Hellboy has got Apocalypse Hellboy has got its use because if you should add this particular card to say the current combination that I've got when you're fighting uh, primarily against the ultimate bosses your skill points will will build up quite quickly because you do generate skill points from your ultimate forms so that's primarily primarily what i'll use it for because it doesn't really do massive amount of damage and that's the elboy deck i've got quite a few of my elin uh trying to get the skin the skin looks really nice we're gonna have a look at that in a while and i've got a few cards from past event i've got um dynamo as well and there's my five copies of the support card and as you can see i haven't got any more generation three cards uh in regards to main cards or um master collection cards so one of the things that you do not want to do never craft a master collection card with using your dust if you can't craft the ultra rare never ever do that that's a no-no if you've got say twenty-seven thousand um master collection dust and you can craft the current master collection card but not the ultra rare if you did not manage to get the ultra rare from the vault do not craft a master collection card save your dust only craft master collection card only if you manage to get the ultra rare from the vault and you can craft the master collection card and you really want the ultimate form then craft the master collection card and vice versa don't craft the ultimate the ultra rare 
if you can't craft the master collection card and only use your dust to get to craft master collection card and ultra rare for decks that are useful so that's my little tip so i've got this one dina inverted archer from a previous um light slayer event from last year i think it was last year around this time or yeah i think it was after halloween i think it was last november and she can fill the board with light power gem tools the problem with this card is its intensity dependent so it won't work in the current meta so the current meta uh you don't want to be going over three turns you need to get the bar the boss down before the third turn two two turn decks are the best the um, the relentless scholar deck is a one turn deck if you've got four master collection cards so if you got four master collection card it can be a one turn deck if you only got one master collection card like myself then you have to add another deck to it to actually get the best out of the deck so i've got this one which is master collection card as well from uh 18 months ago that produces power gems based on the amount of gems on the board that won't work either you got the, um, the goblin deck that won't work either you've got the gem fall deck which is the stellar hound that won't work either so a lot of these cards are utility cards one of the things that you could do if you're free to play players and you haven't got uh, a lot of cards in your deck or your new player and you've got this card daniel or if you manage to get the master collection card for that deck from the last season amy then you could create a deck that relies on two cards that will not do a lot of damage but they do produce a lot of gems so the two cards that i'm talking about are actually wardens well it's actually one card but i've got more than one copy this warden is called Indale, Indale Dark Star. And what Indale does, Indale actually creates 10 light gems. So what we'll do, we will use the current, we use the current support card as our main damage dealer because it will do a bit of damage. And we will use Daniel and Amy as our power gem producers. So all this deck will work. It will create rainbow power gems and you have to overwrite those rainbow power gems. So to make this deck give me a bit of bang for my buck, I will not use the relics to actually produce the intensity for Daniel and um, Amy. I'll just use generation three relics. So I will definitely put my alien spear on and I will then put all my light slayer relics on it. So I did go into the revival pack and I managed to get two more master collection card for the yokai deck we wanted um ultra rare but didn't manage to get a third ultra rare which would have been great so let's go in to the main arena and see how well we will actually get on using our amy deck our rainbow deck basically so we're just looking for the cobalt boss which we haven't got we haven't really let's try and see what we can do with this one this person is playing around so let's see if we can actually get the mvp because this deck is quite quick so this is my main deck and it's quite quick it's a two turn deck so i've only got the relentless scholar on it so we match our gems we power up our cards and we'll just use our battle skill and then the job is done so the person actually got to it before me but never mind i've done 15 percent so actually 
but something out of that. So let's see if we can find the Cobalt boss. So I'm going to use nine keys. And with this deck, you have to activate Amy and Daniel first. So once we have actually powered up all our cards, you don't really, you're not interested to get any intensity because they will produce enough power gems on the board and all you have to do is override as much as much of the power gems as possible and then Bob's your uncle do a bit of damage so as you can see 25 billion damage from your support cards and what you could do you could swap Daniel out for a second support card just to get a bit more damage going so we'll swap Daniel out and we use a second support card to see if we can increase the damage output obviously your power gem production will go down so it might balance out itself so let's see if it actually balances out itself because the power gem production has gone down but you have increased the amount of damage dealers that you've got So then Amy and then gives you two in there. So there's less power gems on the board. Let's see if that has affected our damage output. It has. So 15 billion each, which give us uh, approximately 13, 30 billion. And we were producing 26 billion with one support card when we had Daniel on board. So it's... Um, you have increased your damage by 4 billion which isn't too bad An extra 4 billion damage is quite good so that's that particular combo let's have a look at the next combination that I came up with so that one was just something that I thought of while so that's a deck where if you haven't got anything else you could could use that one but if you've got better cards then you could play around with the combo the thing that you need to get right with your decks is the synergy you need to get your cards to work together to get the best result because if you've got good cards but they don't work together then you'll have a lot um a lot of stress actually getting a good damage output now this one as you can see is far more powerful so we can actually kill the boss on one turn while the next deck was killing the boss on the second turn so it's a bit more powerful it doesn't produce as much power gem as um the previous deck but this deck if we add amy to it would not have the ability to overwrite all those gems on the board so as you can see all my cards on the board produces power gems it's got heal but they don't produce a lot of power gems but the damage output is still quite good so that's not a bad deck not a bad deck so I haven't got a lot of combination for you today because as you can see I haven't got a lot of cards in my inventory but as the as time goes on and time progress we will be able to basically get more ultimate forms so what I'm working towards, I'm working towards getting an ultimate form of every um, every type. So at the moment, let me see, I've got three ultimate forms. So I've got this one, the Yokai deck, which is actually Beast. And I've got Relentless Scholar, which is Chaotic. And I've got Hellboy, can't remember what Hellboy is. Let's have a look at Hellboy and see what Hellboy is. And I've got Elboy, which is Arcane. So we're only missing two. Noble and whatever the next one is. I think Chaotic? No. Noble. And whatever the next one is, it is. So let's talk skin. So as you can see, we they've released a seven skin. We've got the Elaine, which looks quite nice. And then we've got a few more savagery overdrive savagery 
then we've got overdrive gorillas that's the hard worn gorillas so i've got the hard worn gorillas i haven't got this one and which else one i have got this one i've got the slasher and i have got this one Voltron. so hopefully i can get those skins not too bad they look quite nice i think skins are a great addition to the game and um inventory and uh, these this as well this is a great addition to the game as well but if you haven't got vip you won't get the next three groups which is a bit of a shame and uh, i'm not sure i think if you uh, cancel your vip you actually lose the extra three as well which is pretty bad I've got a video that I need to upload about uh, relics so I've managed to actually get all my um, all my legend relics up to all my legend relics no let's see generation generation one so as you can see most of my uh, legend relics are ascended just need them to get them to a two pink star got two copy I'm trying to get two copy of each so I've got two copy of the fire two copy of the water two copy of the dark I just need two copy of Dojin and Alien Spear and then I'll be set so the event so far is not too bad it's not as exciting as last week's event didn't get to play much of that anyway but last week event was really good the deck was really really powerful and it was really quick really really it was really a good deck to play and um i hope network uh, give us a bit more surprises like that especially during the festive season christmas is fast approaching so want to see what they do for christmas want to see if they're gonna give us uh some giveaways because network doesn't really give away a lot but hopefully this year they'll give us a lot of surprises for christmas so that's a possible deck combo i've got for you today no it hasn't been much but see you next time when we see the next deck for next week event which should be a fire commander event and then we have the fast approaching water slayer event which should be very exciting so until next time this is Arctane saying peace and enjoy your event bye for now